Hello everybody, so don't mind the dirty floor, it is getting scrubbed again today, I'm constantly scrubbing it and it doesn't just don't look any different. Anyway, we're not here for the floor, so this picture, you've probably seen this before, maybe, uh, it's a water house, obviously not an original. Um, I put her in this frame when I bought her in the frame I just got from a charity shop and it's vile and it, let's face it, the frame. Um, and this picture deserves to be in an ornate showstopper frame one of the things that i'm doing for the kitchen uh, for the stairs things this is how it's looking at the moment you've seen it in the previous one if you've watched i'm going to get on with getting this paint off today but before i do that well what i'm doing is i'm putting grave rubbings and mirrors all up this side and that side up there on the other side so this whole wall is going to be our near a bit of a showstopper wall um, we're gonna to have to fix that bit at the top but anyway before we do that this picture is going to be the test pilot if you like so some of them I'm going to have to make frames for and they'll be bespoke because it's basically the size of the grave rubbing but this particular one is not going to be going on the stairs it's going to be going in the bathroom so we're going to do this this weekend and get it on the bathroom wall possibly tomorrow night now over here I got these moulds um and you can get loads of different designs i got these ones first because i thought this will do for this one so i'm going to make a load of plaster paris bits to go around and they're going to go around the white bits um i'm going to stick them to the white bit but then secure them on this bit of frame here um actually that might not work i'm going to sort it anyway everyone i'll work it out but um what's going to happen then is this is going to go in the bathroom on the bathroom wall and that's going to be it's a mermaid it needs to be in the bathroom and also i've got some mermaids so i'm going to make her up and what i was thinking was i could put in the corners uh i don't know should we just have a go with it and see what comes out so i went to range so if you go to the range you can buy plaster of paris i've never worked with plaster of paris before but I'm going to get like a runny consistency with water, pour it in and see what's what. So let's get to mixing it up. Right. Let's mix the plaster of Paris. Right, so I don't know what I'm doing. But I'm looking for a consistency, I think, which is going to be slightly runny enough to pour in but not thin like water and we're going to start just doing a little bit let's just put some water in here so i don't know how much so let's just give it a go we can always add some more plaster of paris we're going to need to see how much that did then it's like pea water i probably should just look on the on the packet this is enough So I saw the mermaids and I just thought they were really cool. Apparently what you've got to do, you've got to jig them. And that'll get any air bubbles to come to the top. Right, let's pull this one in. Probably not. Shut up.
were is false. So this is, whoa, this is one of the mermaids. Look at it. Right, you need a close look at this. Come on, what your camera, Sarah. Look at her. Oh, she's perfect. I'm going to paint her. Oh, they look, they're fantastic. They're everything that I wanted. Look at them, everybody. They're going to decorate the frame. It's going to be excellent, this frame. Just you wait and freaking see. Right, let's do another one. I'm going to very carefully one. turn it over. Don't know what that hair is, but it's not what you might think it is. Oh my God, everybody. Oh my God. I'm really excited. <laughs> Look at that. Now, that is fabulous. Oh, I'm really excited, everybody. So that now is gonna rest until tomorrow. I'm not even gonna to attempt to do any painting, but everyone, I'm really excited. Look at it. Right, so basically, anyway. I've got another project that I'm working on. This ultimately is gonna be the gold color. I've only got one, I can go back and get more. I'm gonna to need to get more. What I thought I'd do is use the gold and the copper, possibly together, mix them up to create the colour of the frame that I'm looking for. I'm looking for like a dull gold, do you know what I mean? I don't want a stark gold, I want it to be like a bit antique looking, which is ultimately what colour that's going to go and the mermaids, they're all going to be the same colour. I might get... Right, everyone, so what I've done is I've coloured, this camera does my head in, I've uh, painted all the bits, these are all the bits though, it's definitely going to need more than this, but what I decided was I'll uh, make a start, because I'm going to assemble these on the frame anyway, because they're that fragile, if I start putting them on the frame and then trying to hang it, It'll be a nightmare. So we're gonna go upstairs now, hang the frame with a picture. I'll put the picture back in the frame. Might give the frame a quick blast in this color actually, just so, oh, uniform, or maybe not. No, I don't think I need to, I don't know. Um, let's get it up on the wall and see what we're dealing with. Right, shall we see if it's gonna work? Never mind, my, my uh, it's crazy today. All I've done is I've put some of it, I'll show you the stuff I've put on. And like I did with my tailing, I'm going to start with the outside and work my way in. Yes, yeah, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, just get some, ah, what the pig have I stood on there? All well, that circle thing that fell out. Just need a bit of toilet roll because when I squeeze this on, doesn't necessarily stick straight away. So what I'm doing, just to give it a bit of help, I'm just spreading it on and then, you know, just wiping it off. Let me just do another one. So that's forward, that's the other one. Pretty cool when it's done. Right, let's put the mermaids on. See what this looks like. 
Right. Let's start with a mermaid. So, what I decided I was going to do is put one either side of that. So this Insta Grab stuff was really good for the dado, so I'm hopeful that this stuff is just going to stay on shit. And then, where those bits of glue over, I'll just try and get, get it off. Look at that already everyone, I love it. Right, now, we've got these bits to go on. Let me just put some glue on and I'll come back. Right, I've decided I don't need to be up that ladder. I think, I think we're okay just to do it down here. And that's what I'm doing anyway. And also, um, also, the, it's too, still too high. I want it a bit lower, so. Just gonna stick some glue on this. I think I'm making a bad for my own back with the glue, everyone. Because I think, see how we're thinking, I need to do. But I'm just gonna do it from there. I can get more traction on, more pressure on the bits as well down here, you know, so they'll adhere a little bit better. Oh, it's gone on me. I don't matter, just put it there. Just wipe it out of my dress, it doesn't matter. Now we need, I'm going to need a load of mermaids, you know, everyone. Where's that frigging tissue gone? Hang on. I hope you can see that. Yeah, you can. Right. Now we need this mermaid to go that way. And then we need another mermaid to go to the way. So we need one to go that way now. Start. Da, 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 da. That polymer clay means I can make loads of mermaids really quickly because you mould them, take them out of the mould, I lay them on a tray and then just bake them in the oven. So that's what I'm going to do. There we go. Right. So you don't need to watch the rest of this. I'm just going to crack on and then I'll come back once I've made some progress. Right, one thing I've realised is I'm going to need a lot more in terms of embellishments. Now, I've got a few left on the... I've got loads downstairs, they just need painting up. I've got those on there. So I've got five mermaids, loads of those singular inserts, not the fancy ones, you know, the ones in between the fans. Um. I am going to have to paint the frame, definitely, because it stands out. It doesn't look like it's all uniform, so that's fine. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go downstairs and I'm going to make, I reckon I probably need for the sides, eight to ten mermaids on each side, maybe, to make it fit down the lens. And then, so I need 20, key Jesus, I need 20, 21. I'm going to make 20 mermaids and see where we go. So let's get on with that and do some painting. I'll come back once I've got it done.
Right, so as you can see, one of my embellishments has just fallen off the top left. I don't think it had enough sticky on it. So it's fine because I've got another piece. It's broke, but I've got another piece. But I think the picture's hanging too far this way. But it's staying like that for now because we'll never get it finished if not. And I can't find the bloody thing. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one of these... Um, you know, these command strips, I'm going to put one. Don't worry, don't mind how I look, everybody. I'm going to stick one just under the bottom there. You'll see what I mean. I've got these all over the house, they're actually pretty nifty. So, I think if we stick that there. We can secure the picture just like that. Just gives it a bit of extra, you know, support. Now we need to get that bit back on the edge. So what we're dealing with now. Right, we need a corner piece. So let me get my glue. A bit of a shit to that, isn't it? Having to go back over old ground, but it's fine. Where's the other pieces? There was one. Ah, there it is. So I'm going to put that one on. I think how it's going to go on. Uh, yeah, okay. So I'm going to make sure it's got loads of glue. Once I've got that on, I'll feel better then because then I can, uh, then I can uh, get a few other bits on. Shit, what's that one? I'm just putting a bit of glue on this mermaid here, you know, rather than waste it. Where's that tissue? Oh, yeah, I don't even know if I should be touching this glue. Probably not. But there you go. Right, let's get up these stairs. Steps, even. Right, this is the dodgy one. Oh. Right, you don't touch that now, Sarah. Right, let's get this finished. So at the bottom, I've got an idea. So I need the other mermaid on that side. I'm going to put a bit more glue on her. Sorry if my head's blocking everything, everyone. It's really difficult because this bathroom's not actually that big. And then what I need to do, once I've done this, I then need to come back and fill in the bits of the frame. But I'll give it an hour, you know, for it to go off. So what we're going to do now, we're going to stick two bits there. And then we're going to go for the corner fan. I don't know if I'm going to have, but I'm still not going to have enough. I'm going to have to go back downstairs and make some more moulds. Because I'm just not going to have enough. Right, everyone. Hopefully this battery doesn't run out. I'm going to line that up with that. freaking good this you know I like it anyway I like kitsch things like this and I'm gonna have loads of like this all over um all over the you know the, the stairs going up and down I'm gonna have to make them all which is why I wanted to do this well one I wanted a nice frame for this anyway but I really wanted to like give it a go so that 
when I come to do it on the stairs, I've sort of learned. Because you learn, don't you, by like your mistakes or what you wouldn't do next time. Then that's going to go in the middle. But I need to. No, I'm not going to pull, start pulling things out. That's going to go in the middle there. I might get a better one actually. And then all we're going to have here, two of them, and then the mermaids. Right then, should we get it finished? So, set myself a bit of a problem. I'm going to start with the middle bit. Um, there's a reason for that. I want to make sure I've got enough room to basically get it on. Um, because the middle bit is the most important. I can always fish the side, fish. I can always fill the sides out if I want to. Sorry, still in front of where then? Let's put some glue there. Put that on the back of that one. So I was just doing a bit of, a bit more moulding. And what I've discovered is that Moving forward, I'm not going to use, for this, for these types of projects, I'm not going to use the um, thingy as much. Um, what's it called? I'm not going to use <clears throat> the plaster of Paris, that's what I was trying to say. I'm not going to use that as much uh, for two reasons. One, it's quite heavy. Two, it's really bleeding fragile. So like, you know, you can be doing something. That's too high. You can be doing something. And uh, it don't work. Right, so I need, okay, so now I need, I need a mermaid. I'm on pins a bit, because I want to make sure I can get everything on. I need to put a centrepiece and then another mermaid now. Call this a centerpiece. And then that mermaid in there, which just about fits. Fantastic. I was just thinking as well, everyone. I hope I'm not blocking it with a big head. I'm gonna have a go. Just gonna have to have a go. Don't know if it's gonna come out. But I'm going to have a go at, um, what's that word? Sculpting. I'm going to have a go. So we'll get that on there. I think I'm going to do the same from the other side. So now we want a fan. And you know these fans? I quite like. I think they'd make just a nice frame on their own, you know, without the in bits in between. So one of the one of the frames I do do, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna add I'm gone, it doesn't come off with that, I need Yeah, one of the frames the frames that I do do I'm going to um, I'm going to do one just just of them. So we need her now. There, an embellishment, and then another one. We're done. We're done. We're done. But I'm not because then we've got to paint the frame. Boop. 
This is an operation there, so I think I've done it though, you know. I think friggin' done it. I don't know if I'm gonna paint the frame now. I think I will. You know the bits in between just to bring it all together. And the final mermaid. Can you actually see? I'm sorry if my big head's in where. Oh my god. Right. What do you think everyone? I think it's amazing.